Hello and welcome to Joanne's Healing Within. I am Joanne Andrew Barry Cologne, your certified personal trainer, intuitive healer, cosmic energy reader, a mother, a wife, and I'm here to help you see yourself as your best self in 2020. I'd like to remind you to share, like, and comment on today's show, as I do look forward to reading your comments and of course responding back. So with that being said, I'd like to just take a moment to give a shout out to my sponsors, starting off with Bobby, who makes all of this possible. And before we go into the real details of our sponsors, I wanna remind you that we are on Roku. So those of you out there who do have access to Roku, you can actually get my show on Roku should you happen to not be here live with me today. You can catch the show anytime. You could do a marathon of Joanne's Healing Within on the Roku channel of Strong Island Entertainment. So now let's go with those sponsors. So let's start out with our Sherry Simpson, who is our intuitive business guide helper. She helps women reinvent themselves and be better at what they do in their business so they can show up and help their clients. Then we have Relax with Raquel, Key Mind Chi Therapy, applying massage and essential oil for overall wellness. And she also supplies her intuition into each session as well. Our third sponsor is Elizabeth Kipp. She's an author, stress and chronic pain management specialist, and recovery coach. Moving into Keisha Christian, owner of Dropping Gems, holistic lifestyle coach, and award-winning author of the Dropping Gems book series. To learn more about all of her services, reach her at www.keishachristian.com. And then we have Sharon McLean, our financial provider. She will help you build a better financial future with her six-step approach to her to her financial approach. You can reach her at SharonMcLean.com. Those are our sponsors, and I thank them for helping making my show what it is. I like to set the energy for today. And as we do have a lot of intense en energy going on because we are actually in the midst of the full moon in Leo energy, and I'm inviting you tonight at some point to step outside and take a peek at the full moon and allow yourself to sort of get re-energized with it. I'm also going to invite you to join me tonight as I am having a, what I like to call goddess moonlight meditation offered through Zoom. And if that is something you'd be interested in participating in, all you have to do is leave in the comments, yes. And of course, I will send you my Zoom link with the PayPal. The investment is $11. It's definitely worth the investment. We start at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time and we'll go to 9.30 p.m. And in that meditation, I'm going to help you recharge your energy, rejuvenate, and gain some clarity to help you let go of what no longer serves you so you can make space for what this full moon is actually helping you to bring in, which is all about new opportunities as we move into the next 28 days. So it's definitely something I would encourage you to come join me. And again, it's at 8.30 p.m. to get the link. All you need to do is type in yes in the comments for today, and I'll send you the link and, of course, the PayPal. And I look forward to connecting you for, with the full moon energy. So I'd like to invite you to take a moment right now in this minute and just breathe. Breathe. Step into your body. Become aware of your body. Become aware of your heartbeat. Become aware of your feet on the floor. Now, if you happen to be driving, pull over so you can participate in this. Otherwise, continue driving, but pay attention. Do not pay attention so much to what we're doing here. Pay attention to the road. So, feeling your feet on the floor, connecting with your heartbeat, and allowing yourself to breathe. And as you do that, just take a moment just to close your eyes and allow yourself to connect with your higher self and the universe and God. And uh, I'm going to collectively come into your energy and see what card comes out that we need to hear for today. What do we all need to hear so we can get grounded and really take in this energy that is coming in full force with the full moon? All right, our card for today that's showing up right now. Interesting card, all about clarity. 
And I did, do believe, I just mentioned that this full moon is going to help us gain some clarity in regards to different questions we might be floating in our head, different ideas we might have going on. We may have an entire bookload of ideas that we want to implement, but really not sure what to start with. And when we have energy like this that is so powerful, sometimes we get a little bit of overwhelm because it's just powerful energy. And it all, that energy may very well show up as nervous energy. So it's really important to get yourself grounded so you can allow yourself to focus in on the specific things you really want to create in your life. And almost like write out a list of what those opportunities look like and how those opportunities, I would say put it in order, so to speak. Put it in order so you can have the clarity you need so you know which opportunity you want to dive into first is what I just heard. So when we think about the chakra here, this is about the pink. So it is about self-care. And what I'd like to invite you to do tonight, of course, after you join me on my Zoom, is to take a bubble bath and allow yourself to take a bubble bath or even an, um, an Epsom salt bath with a little bit of lavender. So this way here, the, the, um, the minerals um, and the magnesium that's in the Epsom salt can actually allow your, your chakras to realign themselves and to really repair from inside out. And with the bubble bath, it allows you to have self-care involved. So it's really important to use self-care into your practice this week because it would also help in gaining some clarity. When we do spend time in self-care, self-nourishment, it, it calms ourselves down and it helps us to have a different uh, point of view on things. Now the number here is two and nine. So that two is about the partnership that you're going to be enduring as you do step into the connection of the full moon, stepping into the connection of your higher self and also your higher power, and just allowing yourself to have that connection, that partnership, bringing you into a nine. So this nine energy with this full moon is exactly that. This full moon's helping us to let go of the things that either we've outgrown or no longer serves us. Now, sometimes what tends to happen to many of us is that we hold on to things because it's comfortable. It's easy, but in order for us to really step into new opportunities and, and grow, we have to be willing to let those comfortable things go. We have to be willing to come out of our comfort zone and really step into a space where um, it's almost scary for us, almost like stepping at the edge of a ledge and allowing yourself to jump without being pushed. Because when we jump freely, we're gonna have that parachute effect where things are just gonna flow easily for us. But when we're at that edge and we're being pushed, we're gonna get a little bruises. So my in, in, um, advice to you is to allow yourself to let go of the things on your own free will, as opposed to the universe stepping into doing it for you. When we take the two and nine together, we get an 11 energy, which is all about connecting with your higher self, your higher self, your higher power as we gain clarity. So when we do sit tonight with this full moon's energy in meditation, meditation and prayer are two important ways to really connect on a higher level, to help us get grounded and to help us to gain the clarity that we need so we can better understand the opportunities that are coming our way so we know what to say yes to and also what to let go of. So it's saying yes and also letting go. So as we let go, we'll have more yes opportunities to come in. But you must be willing to let go. So that 11 energy is stepping into your higher self. So that's the card for today. I do hope it resonates with you, as it definitely resonates with me. And for those of you who would like to receive your own personal reading, feel free to reach out. And what I'm going to ask that you do is text when you call, which is 646 236 9155. And in that text, just put your name and specify that you would like a private reading. And I would be more than happy to send you the information in regards to the pricing and what types of readings I do offer. With that being said, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, hopefully my guests will be online with me and we're going to have a whole conversation. We'll be right back. Hey there, my name's Gabrielle Taylor, and I'm a coach. I'm also a psychotherapist. And sometimes I consider myself a creative project midwife. So what is that? Well, I work with sensitive and creative women who have a burning desire to bring their project to the world. 
Sometimes you don't even know what your project is. Sometimes you just, you lack clarity as to how to do that, what next steps to take. Sometimes there, you lack confidence, focus, or there's all this inner stuff that may be getting in your way, or maybe life is just getting in your way. And I really provide support and a holding space, feedback and help uh, women break through the obstacles that are keeping them back. Really passionate about that. So it's good to meet you and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Would you like to live a life beyond the suffering of chronic pain? Step into the power of your healing. I'm Elizabeth Kipp of elizabeth-kipp.com. I'm an addiction recovery coach, chronic pain management expert, and ancestral clearing practitioner. I specialize in helping people heal chronic pain and build stability in their recovery. I offer sessions in recovery coaching and stress management. Step into your healing today at elizabeth-kipp.com. Hello and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. If you are just tuning in, I am your host, Joanne, and I am just speaking to you about the card, the energy of today, and this amazing full moon that we are in. We are in it right now, and I know I'm feeling the energy. I'm hoping you are feeling the energy as well. And our card that was pulled for today was all about gaining clarity. And this full moon is going to help with that, but this full moon is also going to help you really connect with your creativity and new opportunities that are literally knocking at your door. So it's really important for you to step into this full moon's energy and let go of things that no longer serve you and things that are no longer in, I guess the best way of saying is let go of your comfort zone and stepping into a space where you can have space available for those new things to come in. Because if you have too much clutter around, too many people that aren't serving you anymore, those people are preventing you from receiving new people in. And this can uh, consist of people, places, and things. And that's this energy we have going with this amazing full moon. So I want you in, again to invite you to join me tonight live through Zoom, not on Facebook, through Zoom, for my Goddess Moonlight Meditation at 8.30 p.m. All you gotta do is comment yes, and I will send you the information that's needed for you to participate. The investment is only $11. It's definitely gonna be worth your $11 because we're gonna have so many things going on so I can help you recharge, rejuvenate, and restore your energy for this full moon. So is my guest on yet or not yet? All right. So yes, we're just waiting for the guest to pop in, and then we're going to get going. I'm really excited for my guest to show up today, as she too is an amazing, amazing healer. Gabrielle, are you there? Oh. That's Mercury retrograde for us. Here she comes. Here she comes. We have to expect the unexpected today, because Mercury is right around the corner. Hello, Gabrielle. How are you? Hi there. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. How are you today? Oh, okay. Great. So let me just introduce you to our viewers here. So Gabrielle, this is Gabrielle Taylor. And Gabrielle, you are a psychotherapist, an author, and um, give me a little bit more of what it is you do as well, because I know there's a whole list of thing things that you do. Good. Hi, I'm here. Does she have her? Oh, okay. Great. So let me just introduce you to our viewers here. So Gabrielle, this is Gabrielle Taylor. And Gabrielle, you are a psychotherapist and author. Gabrielle, when you get a chance, I need you to turn off your Facebook feed. And just speak into the Skype, because we have the, we have the, as a, um, it's a repeating everything that we've just said. So you need to turn off the Facebook feed and only speak okay. into the Skype. Yep. Okay, I did that. Thank you so much for that. Yes, yes, yes. We're just going to blame all of this on Mercury, because we are one week away from Mercury retrograde. And Mercury is all about technology, communication, 
com um, traveling, <laughs> scheduling, and planning. So hey, thank God, thanks, thanks to Mercury retrograde. So with that being said, so just give us your an introduction again on all the great things that you do besides the fact that you're a psychotherapist and you're an author. What else do you do? Uh, well, I'm an artist as well, and I'm a coach. I coach uh, sensitive, creative women to help them come out to find their voice and find their full expression and overcome whatever blocks are getting in their way. I, li I like the fact that you, you that the title is Sensitive Women. Now, when I hear that, I'm hearing it in reference to those who might be a little more quiet and reserved. Is that is that the approach? Um, well, sensitive doesn't necessarily mean quiet, although a lot of them are introverts, but usually often sensitive people will be empaths and um, they're, they're just more, they have like antenna, antennae going out into the world, so they often feel a lot. A lot of them are artists, healers, intuitives, and um, people like that. So uh, us sensitive people, we, we have to... Um, you know, deal with life a little differently. Yes. We have to really take care of ourselves and um, because we can get overwhelmed. Yes, yes. And I'm really glad that um, I had my point of view what sensitive was and that you really clarified uh, based on the service that you offer what it actually really is because I think that's important. And I think too, as we, I would say since probably two, from, from my point of view anyway, since about 2011, um, many, many people, 2000, I'm sorry, not 2011, 2018-ish, many more people have been tapping into their empath abilities of being more sensitive. Would you say that's true? Well, you certainly hear about it a lot more. Um, I see people writing about it. I see people talking about it more. So I think it's, yeah, it's a more known uh, phenomenon. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of... There are a lot of teachers actually teaching about it. Yeah, because I definitely think it's a great subject that needs to be taught because it, um, especially as an impact, when you start picking up other people's energies, it could be very confusing um, to other, other extremes of something that may not be and can, can very, uh, very much be confusing. Exactly. Sometimes... Um sensitive empaths will pick up other people's energies and carry them inside themselves and it's hard to know sometimes what's yours and what's not yours it can be confusing unless you can you know know how to differentiate and clear the energy off and take some time to for yourself and ground yourself mm -hmm. and um yeah yes very true very true so what i like to do is i like to dive in because um again part of the title today is that you are a contributing author to the 365 Soulful Messenger book that there are mm -hmm. over, I believe there's over um, 300 contributors to this amazing book. And you wrote out five submissions in this book. Last night I actually went through my book. I actually have my book here today as well. And okay. you wrote five submissions in this book. So what I'd like to do before we dive into um, having you read one of the five, I'd like you just to uh, give the viewers um, a understanding to what inspired you to even want to write a submission in this book, nevertheless five. Well, actually, this is the third time I've submitted to this 365 series with uh, Jody Chapman and Dan Tech. So um, I, I was already familiar with the series. And uh, I love the title, 365 Soulful Messages. Yes. So, um, yeah, I, I was inspired to contribute. I, at first, I was just going to contribute one piece. But as time went on, I, I thought of a few more vignettes or stories from my life. So I ended up contributing five. It was fun. Yes, yes. And as I said, last night I went through my book and highlighted your submissions, and although you're, we're going to only have time for you to read one of them, what I'd like to do is I just want to read the title of all five just to give the viewers a general idea. Are you okay with that? Fine, yeah, that's great. All right, and then, of course, you're going to read one of your submissions. So the first title that uh, Gabrielle has is my first yoga class, and I'm sure many people will be able to um, relate based on their first yoga class or boot camp class or whatever it may be. So that should be interesting. And then your other title is a painting, a, uh, a parting, parting? Is that it? A painting or parting? 
A parting gift. A parting gift. And then you have your third one, which is Transformation on the Mountain. Now, I actually like that one really so when I read it. I was like, wow. <laughs> and then you have one, Lifting the Mad, Mad Rush Spell, which is really nice. And then the final one is, um, I didn't highlight the final one. What's the fifth one? The, the final one is the one I'm going to read. It's called Miraculous Micro World. Ah, interesting. Let me just, what page is that one on? It's on page 232. All right, so I have mine. So you're going to read it for us? Yeah, that's the one I chose to read today. All right, so go ahead and read that for the viewers. Okay. So, um, okay, so I'll just dive right in. There you go. Miraculous Micro World. It's a few days before my 21st birthday, and I'm alone, far away across the ocean in a foreign country. After an experience of heartbreak and a devastating disappointment, I feel so sad and lost. Is life just a random series of events, and am I, and am I just a random accident, alone, Adam, drifting in the universe, I ask myself. Thankfully, I'm with some friends of friends who are kind enough to take me in while I regain my bearings. Unsure of what my next step will be, I could easily go into a panic mode. I know that I'll soon be visiting my family in Poland, but I have three weeks till then. And with my broken heart, I have no clue as to how and where I'll fill my thoughts, soul, and my time. Sitting in my friend's garden, I pull out my travel sketch pad and black, black ink <coughs> pen. I start to observe the tiny flowers in the grass. An entire miniature world opens up before me, and as I draw, I allow myself to get lost in it. For, <coughs> for an insect, or for Alice in Wonderland, this could be a rainforest filled with lush grasses, curved stems, curly-cute flowers, bluebells, and giant worms that come out of the rich soil. I draw the bright light flickering off metal <coughs> buttercups. A tiny off-white petal hovers and whispers like angel's wings over a daisy. Long blades of grass loop and dangle, twist and swirl, casting deep shadows in this mini jungle. As I discover the intricate and subtle details of this world, my eyes begin to dance with the give and take with the delicate splashes of color. Like a healing balm for my flustered heart, the pulsating alive energy and freshness of what I see permeates my being and starts to ease my troubles. Could it be that God and not the devil is found here in the details? I'm in awe and wonder and realize that whereas I had only a few moments before felt lost and broken, I'm now perfectly at home here in this miraculous micro world. That is beautiful, and Thank I'm sure, and I'm I'm really I'm really sure <clears throat> that many many viewers can relate to your story of, mm. of feeling alone and feeling sad, <clears throat> whatever the breakup heartbreak might have been. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful story. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Let the viewers know how they can um, um, purchase this book. Uh, well, I, this book can be purchased on Amazon. Um, I don't know if you can see I, uh, 365 soulful messages. Um, I don't know if you're going to post a link to it, um, Joanne. Yeah, I could po I could post the link at the end um, yeah. at the end of the show, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, but they can get they can purchase the book on Amazon, correct? Right, Amazon.com. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And what I'd like you to do before we take a commercial break is let the viewers know how they can reach you. Oh, well, you can reach me through my website at GabrielleBTaylor.com. Um, I also have a Facebook group for sensitive, it's called Sensitive Soul Leaders. So you can uh, look me up that way, and, um, or you can search me Gabrielle B. Taylor on Facebook. Thank you. Excellent. So we're going to be right back with more about Gabrielle, but we're going to take this quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Okay. 
Mind Touch Sheet Therapy invites you to relax with Raquel for intuitive therapeutic massage, body work, and energy work. Chakra One Therapy, essential oil classes, days off mini retreat, aura cleansing, individual and group meditation, and cacao ceremony. We welcome you. Relax with Raquel. for nearly two decades. It is my mission to empower and educate others on living a holistic lifestyle. In addition to that, I'm a holistic lifestyle coach. So it's important to me to demonstrate to others how they can make small and simple changes to have a better quality of life. Be sure to visit www.DroppingGemsAcademy to claim your free gift and to check out the first introduction course to the Holistic Remedies class. I look forward to seeing you in class and be sure to claim your free gift. Peace and blessings to you. Hi there, my name is Sherry Simpson. As an intuitive business guide, I help female service-based business owners to grow their business using their intuition, helping you to release the blocks and limits, preventing your growth, and allowing you to get the aligned action steps to take to grow your business. You can reach me at Sherry at SherrySimpson.com, S-H-E-R-R-I at Sherry Simpson, S-I-M-P-S-O-N.com. I look forward to helping you grow your business soon. Namaste. Hello and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. If you are just tuning in, remember to share, like, and comment. And we're going to dive right back into my guest, Gabrielle Taylor. And Gabrielle, what I'd like you to do for us is um, talk to me about, or talk to us about, um, what alive means. What is alive? Because it's a program you have, and what does it mean? Well, alive is a, uh, is a process that I bring my clients through. Um, uh, in my co my coaching clients, and it's really uh, it's a process to help um, creative women to reconnect with their creativity and their creative flow, and find their voice and like bring their gifts to the world. So it's it, alive. Besides besides me meaning alive, coming alive, it's also an acronym. Yes. So. Um, the A is, stands for anchoring and aligning. So the first step is really about anchoring and grounding and aligning your energies with that, with the grounding. Mm -hmm. uh, so align and um, aligning your whole life, basically, once you start to ground and anchor. Uh, the second step is about listening to what you love, L. So really tuning in to your des desires and your heart and what's really calling you in life. And the third step is about intuition and inspired action. So it's rediscovering your intuition, reconnecting with your intuition, and uh, as well it's about imagination mm. because the creative process really, really requires um, for our imagination to be, come alive. And then stepping into some inspired action. And then um, the, the fourth step is about uh, discovering your vision and your voice. So that's a really, really uh, important step as yes, well. Yes, definitely. And finally, the fifth step is about expanding your energy. So after you've gone through all these other steps, it's like really coming into the world with some expanded energy. So, yeah, so that's the process that I lead uh, clients through. And uh, I, I, I like the word alive. So <laughs> I, I actually like the word alive too. And whether they're your clients or not, I think it's a great um, 
concept to live by because as we are alive, it's really important to be anchored and aligned and mm-hmm. also to really listen to what it is one really loves, like listening to the intuition and knowing what you truly love and why, what you're actually here on earth to be doing. Mm-hmm. And that intuition is so important. Yeah, and um, ha- having a vision, and more importantly, not just having the vision, but as you said, having the voice so you can create the vision, which is very important, and then expanding the energy. So I think, you know, everybody should be living by being alive. Mm. You know. Yeah, I, I agree. And it kind of follows the, um, follows the chakras as well starting with the anchoring is the first chakra, root chakra, and it goes up, voice is the, the, sixth, the fifth chakra, mm-hmm. and then expanding your energy is like the seventh chakra. So exactly. it goes through. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. I think I truly, you know, it def- definitely does align with the chakras. Definitely does. Mm-hmm. So thank you for sharing that. That's really powerful. Mm. Now... You and I have spoken briefly about um, you have an offering where it's a freebie and it's, a, it's about overwhelm to overjoy, overjoyed. What's that about? Um, it's actually, uh, there's a meditation audio in there to help you relax. And there's also a worksheet that gives you some, some ways to basically calm down and prioritize. Like take a breath, center yourself. And then prioritize and take baby steps. So it it it, it gives you. Um, I think there are three steps in the worksheet. And uh, so, because I find that a lot of my clients come to me really, really overwhelmed, and I've experienced overwhelm myself. I know what it's like when your your wires are all crossed and tangled, and your your, your mind is like you can't really think properly because you're just like overloaded and you're stressed and sometimes mm-hmm. like. Because you can't focus properly, you get even more stressed. Yes. And things can just build up and you can either freeze or panic or get anxiety or just like get really, really tired. So, um, yes. So that's why I designed that um, offering to help them just like help you just take the first step towards calming down and, you know, taking the life as one step at a time exactly. you have to recenter yourself to do that exactly which goes so. back again to the grounding exactly grounding exactly. grounding is the i think grounding is the key component to everything we need to do in life because when we're not grounded we cannot possibly focus and when we're not focus it does create stress because then we get anxious exactly so i yeah. think that's really important and, talking- and there's so much going on nowadays with like technology and then if you listen to the news and what's going on in the world and uh, maybe you're taking on other people's energies from mm-hmm. your family, from colleagues at work, from school, from wherever you are. Um, so there's so many reasons that people get even more stressed out nowadays. Exactly. Now this freebie, is this on your website as well that the viewers can go right to your website to find it? Um. There's a link to it that I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know the link, the the URL by heart. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't think it's actually on my website. There's a special link. Okay, so, so somewhere along the line, we'll be able to post that somewhere so the viewers can get to it. Yeah, that would be great. Yes, definitely, definitely. So what I'd like to ask you now, <clears throat> um, in regards to the work you and I have been doing um, separately from obviously today's show, the chakra, uh, chakra balance Reiki treatments that I've been working with you on, how has that actually helped you um, in regards to your practice? Um, well, I think as, you know, because I, I see a lot of clients and I help a lot of clients, so I feel it's important for me sometimes to to get feedback from a practitioner myself, right? And to to help me at myself align my energy and to get an, out, an outside perspective. Mm-hmm. So it's... Um, it's it's just been really really uh, nice to have that and to ha- it's it helps me ground and align <laughs> and do <laughs> all the go things back that, that I help others do. <laughs> yes yes yes, yeah. and and the reason why I asked you that is because I'm always being asked from uh, whether it's clients or just general people you know in regards to like for healers and 
you know, such as you and I, what do healers do to get to, to get healed? And, you know, I want the viewers to understand that we all, whether we're a healer or not a healer, or don't, we don't realize we're healers, or empaths for that matter, we all need grounding work. We all need to align our energies so we can be grounded enough, anchored, and aligned so we can focus in on our goals. So again, whether we are a healer or not realizing we are a healer yet, it's important to be uh, to definitely have a practice to get uh, um, re recharged, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. And um, I consider myself a wounded healer, so, and I think that's what many of us are healers are. Mm -hmm. And um, as well, I think that. Uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I was thinking of something while you were talking. And Now, when you um, said wounded healer, just, just so the viewers can understand, because they might be able to relate to that, what do you mean by a wounded healer? Well, I mean, it's in um, re healing from my own wounds that I've become a healer. And also, uh, when I help heal others, it's it's coming from a place of knowledge of my own wound as well, my own wounds as well. Interesting. So I think that's really really important as healers that we um, that's a grounding reality as well, the grounding that we are, you know, embodied beings and incarnate beings, mm -hmm. and we have wounds. We all have wounds. Definitely do. So it's it's a journey. It's not like any of us are fully whole or fully complete or fully, you know, super people. We're, we're human. Yes, we're, we're not super people. <laughs> it's good to know that we're not, and it's okay yeah. that we're not. Yeah. You know, and that's why we're here on Earth to, go through the, to break through the wounds so we can heal. So, yes. What I'd like you to do for us is uh, let the viewers know again how they can reach you. Okay, you can reach me at, uh, on my website at gabriellebtaylor.com. Or I have a Facebook group called Sensitive Soul Leaders. You can find me there. And I also have a Facebook page, Gabrielle B. Taylor. Thank you for that. We're going to be taking a quick commercial break. And when we come back from our break, I'd like you to have a pen and paper ready because Gabrielle is going to share maybe one tip in regards to what we spoke about today. And maybe I'll add a tip or two as well. And then I'm also going to ask Gabby one more question, uh, um, an unexpected question. And then we're going to dive into our cosmic energy reading that I'm going to be giving Gabby, so, uh, Gabrielle. So we'll be right back. If you're interested in financial services, that will help you grow, protect, and save your money, then look no further. I have been given a financial platform with the World Financial Group to help educate individuals with financial concepts, laws, and strategies that will help individuals build a better financial future. If you are interested in my services, please give me a call at 843-453-7520. Hey there, my name is Gabrielle Taylor, and I'm a coach. I'm also a psychotherapist. And sometimes I consider myself a creative project midwife. So what is that? Well, I work with sensitive and creative women who have a burning desire to bring their project to the world. Sometimes you don't even know what your project is. Sometimes you just you lack clarity as to how to do that, what next steps to take. Sometimes there, you lack confidence, focus, or there's all this inner stuff that may be getting in your way, or maybe life is just getting in your way. And I really provide support and a holding space, feedback, and help uh, women break through the obstacles that are keeping them back. Really passionate about that. So it's good to meet you, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.
Hello and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. If you are just tuning in, remember to share and like and comment. And a quick reminder, know that I am on Roku, so if you are one of the over 30 million people who have Roku, you can check my show out on Roku on Strong Island Entertainment. So we're going to dive right back into our conversation with Gabrielle. And Gabrielle, what I'd like to ask you today, as I usually ask many of my guests who are on, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Oh, wow, what a question. <laughs> ah, I know, it's a loaded one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mean, where do I see myself in terms of, what do I see myself doing? Or yeah. What, yeah, what do you see, like, in reference to your, your profession and your purpose? Where do, you see, where, do you little, where do you visualize yourself being in five years from now? Okay, well, five years I see myself doing more live workshops. Um, as well as um, uh, more circles, because that's what I, um, I've i started to do, is like small uh, gatherings and circles. So I really believe in the power of working in a circle and the healing that can happen and the storytelling and the sharing is, is pretty amazing and transformative. So uh, in five years, I see myself doing that on a regular basis. Excellent, excellent, and I, I see that vision for you. So uh, between both of us, so we're gonna we're gonna make that vision a reality for you. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> yes. So what I like you to do, um, if you can, I like you to provide one tip that the viewers can um, <clears throat> immediately uh, implement into into their life today without having to run out and buy anything. So one tip. Uh, I'd say one tip is. Take a stop and take some time and um, do something that you really, really enjoy. Like find something, m maybe it's from your childhood, you remember, you know, you always used to love drawing or you loved animals or you loved um, music, whatever it is, maybe it's from your childhood, maybe it's from recently. Take some time and, and do an activity uh, that you really, really enjoy and really love. Even if it's you start with five minutes. Excellent. I and, love that uh, tip. And I want to add to uh, Gabrielle's tip as well. I'm actually going to steal one of her, one of the things she had mentioned because I think it's an awesome tip to implement and it's, it's completely free. It's, a, it's really about anchoring yourself. Anchoring yourself, getting yourself grounded. So this way here... Whatever projects, opportunities come your way, you'll be able to really focus in and know what is the best thing for you. Because when we are anchored and we are focused, we can really think straight and we allow ourselves to step out of our way and step into new opportunities. Because what tends to happen to us when we're not anchored, we tend to say no to things prematurely. And those things that we are being... Um, um, asked to do or challenged to do, those things can actually help us grow to be a better version of who we are. And I truly believe that as we are in this new year of 2020, this is a year of action. This is a year of saying yes to every possible opportunity that comes one's way. And in order to do that, anchoring is a major portion of um, helping us stay focused and productive. So uh, thank you for that, that whole uh, alive thing. I'm going to be stealing it from you every now and then, but I know it's yours, so I will definitely give you recognition <laughs> that it is yours. So with that being said, those are our tips for today, and hopefully you had a chance to write them down. And Gabrielle, what I'm going to do now, I'm shuffling up my cards for you, and I'd like to give you the opportunity. Um, do you have a question in mind that you would like some guidance on, or would you like the universe to provide you some insight? Which way works for you? I'll uh, ask the universe for some insight. Okay. Your cards. <laughs> so we're going to, I'm shuffling and coming into your energy. What I'd like you to do for me as I shuffle, Gabrielle, is I'd like you to repeat your full name three times. Okay. Out loud. Gabrielle, right now? Yes, please. Gabrielle Taylor. Gabrielle Taylor. Gabrielle Taylor. All right, so I now have the card in my hand. Actually, Gabrielle, I have two cards in my hands that came out of the deck. And interesting enough, both cards are in reverse. Now, when cards show up in reverse, just so the viewers are aware, it means there is, um, it's almost like a little bit of protection 
behind the guidance and also there's a little bit of resistance on your end. But the messages are really important. So I just want the viewers to see the two cards and I'm going to of course show you what they are because you're not able to see us. Uh, the first card that's showing up, interesting enough for today, is freedom. Oh. Freedom. Yes, freedom. And what I get from this here is as you do allow yourself to anchor and um, really step into your purpose, it literally is going to, and ironically enough, this really works really well with the work that you and I have been doing. This allows you the freedom that you've been, you are looking for in reference to time and exerting your energy on what it is you truly love. So I, I do think that definitely resonates based on the things that you and I have been working together on privately. And we're going back into getting grounded again because the chakra associated with this card is red. So that is the theme today, is getting grounded and to allowing yourself to be grounded so it helps you to really focus in on what's really important for you and also what your purpose and passion is here on Earth in this lifetime. Now the numbers associated is one and four. One is all about the leader that you are and uh, being independent. And again, this really resonates uh, a lot with the work that you and I have been doing. That independence is really important, that you no longer, um, it doesn't serve your higher self to be dependent on anyone except yourself in regards to your business. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that number four energy, which is collective energy for the entire, uh, from the year that we're in, that four is about that new foundation that you are actually building with your business, being independent. And when we add the one and four, it's a five energy. So the changes that you're going to be enduring in this energy of this year is going to help you bring freedom into your schedule so you can have more time to do what you truly enjoy doing and not expanding your energy in places that you are not really enjoying as much. Not that I'm saying that you don't like what you're doing, but you're going to be able to really expand your energy and your purpose and passion. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Totally, yeah. And that's just the first card. So we're going to go with the second card now, which is interesting. That's followed by the freedom card. The second card is balance. Mm. Balance. And I like the fact that the tip that you offered was all about the, in, the viewers, like, tapping back into their childhood. Mm -hmm. So when, we th when I think about balance here, this is really about balancing out your time that you have more time to do what it is you truly love doing, but also being able to play some more. Mm. You know, and allowing your inner child to come out so she can play as well, because she wants to play. Mm. Okay? I love and the word play. What's that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, I love the word play. I yes. love... Um I think play is so important, right? Yes. and We need to play more. Exactly. And where the play is coming into part and the balance, um, which goes right back to your work again, is the storytelling circles that you do. Mm -hmm. Because when I think about storytelling, right away I think of, of us being children, coming back mm -hmm. into our inner child and really having that fun, um, um, fun and... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, thank you, carefree, and also to the point where there's there's no there's no attachment to it. It's just all fun. Mm -hmm. So that's where the balance I think comes from. So really learning how to balance your time that you have more play time, using your so storytelling stor uh, circles, and also really balancing out the energy that you have in regards to your purpose and passion. Mm. And the chakra associated with this card is the heart center, but in the color of pink. Now, in the heart center, just so the viewers will know, there's two colors. One is green, one is pink. So if it was a green color, it would be more about healing. But because it's pink, it's all about self-nourishment, self-care. And, wow. it, and it's interesting on how I'm thinking about play and your storytelling circles is really all about how it nurtures you. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's really interesting. So more of that. I don't know how frequently you're doing your storytelling circles, but I'm, I'm hearing that it should be done more frequently. Okay. <laughs> and the numbers associated is seven and six. So seven 
is all about the one, the analytical one, the one that evaluates, the one that sort of sits back and sort of looks at things to see how things are going to go. And it's also really about taking time to be quiet and giving yourself that permission to listen to what your higher self wants to guide you to do. So you're being guided by your higher self and not so much by that human self, which is the ego. And you're also being guided by your higher power, letting you know that you're on the right track. So it's really important to take that quiet time and listen to the guidance that's being given to you. Mm. And the uh, second part of that number is six. So that six energy is again going back to the healer, the healer that you are, and how healers need to be healed as well. Because as you mentioned earlier, um, as you are a wounded healer, um, I like to call myself the warrior healer. <laughs> <laughs> so every one of us has a different purpose to why we're doing our healing journey, but we all come to doing our healing journey for the sole purpose of healing. And that's mm -hmm. that six energy that you are here as a healer. Now we take the seven and six, it brings us into a 13, which interesting enough brings you back into that four energy. And mm -hmm. that four again brings us right back to the collective energy that the entire world is, is integrating in, which is all, all about the new foundation, the, the collaborations, and also the new relationships that each and every one of us are building. And for you specifically, it's really about you building a new foundation around your practice of healing. Mm. And I just heard that really, really loud. So it's building a new foundation around your practice of healing. Mm. Does that resonate with you? Yes, it does a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yes, it sure does. And, and that was a mouthful because <laughs> you had two cards here today. So again, um, I'd like you just to share with the viewers how they can reach you one more time before we take commercial break. Well, you can reach me at GabrielleBTaylor.com. That's my website. I have a a uh, Facebook group called Sensitive Soul Leaders, and you can look that up as well. And there's a Facebook page. You can see uh, Gabrielle B. Taylor on Facebook. Thank you so much for sharing that information. And Gabrielle, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your submission in the 365 Soulful Message book. I'm just going to let the viewers see what that looks like again. I do believe we have a picture of Gabrielle holding the book so you can have a better view of it. There we go. And that book is available on Amazon. So anyone who's interested in purchasing it, all you have to do is go to Amazon.com for 365 Soulful Messages. And you can get to read all the submissions in there. And again, Gabrielle, thank you so much for sharing all that you've shared today. It was a pleasure having you here. And um, I look forward to uh, connecting with you during the week for our private session. And we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, I'm going to give the conclusion of today's show. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you are interested in financial services that will help you grow, protect, and save your money, then look no further. I have been given a financial platform with the World Financial Group to help educate individuals with financial concepts, laws, and strategies that will help individuals build a better financial future. If you are interested in my services, please give me a call at 843 453-7520. Greetings, my name is Keisha Christian and I am the founder and lead instructor of Dropping Gems Academy. As an educator for nearly two decades, it is my mission to empower and educate others on living a holistic lifestyle. In addition to that, I'm a holistic lifestyle coach. So it's important to me to demonstrate to others how they can make small and simple changes to have a better quality of life. Be sure to visit www.DroppingGemsAcademy to claim your free gift and to check out the first introduction course to the Holistic Remedies class. I look forward to seeing you in class and be sure to claim your free gift. Peace and blessings to you. Would you like to live a life beyond the suffering of chronic pain? Step into the power of your healing. I'm Elizabeth Kipp of Elizabeth-Kipp.com. I'm an addiction recovery coach, 
chronic pain management expert, and ancestral clearing practitioner. I specialize in helping people heal chronic pain and build stability in their recovery. I offer sessions in recovery coaching and stress management. Step into your healing today at elizabeth-kip.com. Hello and welcome back to Joanne's Healing Within. If you are just tuning in, I am your host, Joanne, and I'd like to remind you to like, comment, and share on today's show. And also just a few things just to remind you about what's going on this week in my world. I am offering this evening, tonight, a uh, Zoom Goddess Moonlight Meditation session to help you gain some clarity, reset your energy, and raise your vibration. Should that be something you'd like to join in, please leave a yes comment and I will send you the Zoom link and the PayPal. It's an $11 investment, definitely worth the investment. And if you are interested in receiving your own private Cosmic Energy Forecast reading, feel free to text 646-236-9155 and I'll be sure to get back to you in response to the services I have and of course the rates. And that's it for this week. That's it for today. I will be back here on Wednesday for Joanne's Cosmic Energy. Um, yeah, Joanne's Cosmic Energy in regards to the forecast for the day and to tune in on Wednesday night at 5 p.m. on Strong Island Radio. With that being said, enjoy this amazing full moon and get grounded because this moon is going to take you to places you've never been before. Till then. Have a great night and looking forward to seeing you during the week and then next Sunday. Bye-bye for now.